In this demonstration of the XChart program, we explore the program's flattening feature. In a previous demonstration video, we constructed a maze spectral sequence pertaining to the homotopy of TMF. In particular, TMF is connected to the standard subalgebra A2 of the full dual, dual standard algebra, and we've built a maze spectral sequence computing the X groups associated to that subalgebra. I'll open it, our work from last time. Here it is. So the maze spectral sequence works by overshooting the amount of cohomology that appears in the actual atom Z2 term and slowly sorting itself out. So as before, uh, the program knows all about the D1 differential and then provides tools for computing the D2 differential and onward. Though in this range, uh, we only see D1 and D2 differentials. So this is meant to be a picture of the Adam Z2 page, but if we actually select some of these terms, you'll see that they live in three degrees in this, the spectral sequence is tri-graded. This is because the third, the third degree is meant to uh, encode the May filtration. This is what the spectral sequence was working with all along. But if we really wanted to get at the homotopy of TMF, we would then take this information and uh, project away from the, the May filtration and produce instead an atom spectral sequence E2 page from that. This is exactly what the flattening tool provides. So if I choose flatten, then I see the same picture, but now these dots are atoms graded. The flattening feature is smart in that it remembers all of the structure coming from the previous computation. So it remembers H0 multiplication as well as H1 and H2. So I'll close the old window since we don't need it. And our goal is to reconstruct Enriquez's picture of the atom spectral sequence for TMF. So you can see out here in degree 12, there's a triple of atoms differentials um, beginning on this H0 tower, but only going up a finite ways because there are no, there's no H0 tower here. So down here in our picture, that corresponds to a differential off of this class on the second page. So if you look at the homology representatives here and here, you can find out exactly what these classes are named. So I've written down the answer beforehand. I'm going to cheat and poke these values in automatically. Poke these values in straight away. And there it is. Now, as in other demonstrations, I have to inform XChart that various other differentials in this picture are in fact zero. So for instance, I'm going to tell it that the differential off of nu is zero. But given that information, X chart can use this single atoms D2 to infer the existence of other ones. So I'm going to take this D2 and propagate it along H0 and H2 multiplications. This produces not just the two differentials above in this tower, it also grabs this one. And then, because this class is connected to the one beneath it by an H0 multiplication, and this one is as well, I know that, it also, that a further Adams D2 belongs here. But once again, you have to look up what these classes are actually named, but there they are. Then, once we've inferred that differential, we can go one further and apply the Leibniz rule again. And there is the last atom C2 in this range. When I turn the page, this is what I see. And I'm going to compare with the picture above. 
this looks pretty good. We did in fact catch all of the atoms D2s, but there's a D3 here. So once again, you look at the names of this class and this class, and you can draw the differential in. So in future iterations of XChart, uh, I would like to have the feature where you can just click on this class and it'll autofill this column for whatever homology representative corresponds to that class. But we haven't quite gotten around there, and so you're required to poke in these ones and zeros where they belong. But there's the differential. And as before, if I tell XChart that the D3 differential here is zero, then I can use the Leibniz rule to get the other differential in this pair. And when I turn the page, uh, you can see that not only did this little trapezoid of class class or die, but also we lost these, these divisions. And this is great because it matches exactly Enriquez's picture. See this figure, and this one, and this tower. Uh, this little bit corresponds to this. Uh, then out of this figure, only this top dot survives. Oops, only this middle dot survives. There it is. And that's as far as we went. So if we switch to thinking about generators, then of course you can see all these things' names. And the most exciting thing is that of course XChart remembers all the previous pages. So you can see these things come and go as you please.